Hello everyone, my name is Ajay and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll share how to maximize our score in ESC prelims technical paper. It's heavily raining here, so if you hear any noise, kindly bear with it. Without any delay, let's get started. Before starting this video, let me also share my scorecard. Here you can see my score in the technical paper. So in this video, I'll share how I prepared for this technical paper. So the first thing is minimizing the resources. The resources that I followed are class notes, short notes and ESC previous year questions book. Apart from these three books, I have not followed any other book. If you don't have short notes or class notes for any of the subjects, and if you want my handwritten notes, you can purchase it. Almost 70 students have already purchased. I'll put the details in the description box. If you want, you can check them out. And the second point is importance of previous year questions. I have already mentioned in all my videos that almost 15 to 20 percent of the questions repeats every year. So if you solve previous year questions thoroughly, you are at an advantage comparing with your peer group. If you come across any new concept or formula which is not present in your class notes, then add it to your class notes so that you can revise it at a later point of time. Now comes the third point, test series. For engineering services exam, offline test series is much, much better than online test series. But if you are not staying in Hyderabad or Delhi, then it might be difficult for you to write an offline test series. Right now, AS and MADIZ are conducting ESC 2022 offline test series, right? If you don't have access to write this offline test series, you can purchase ESC 2021 offline test papers. Uh, these are available in many websites. I will try to put those links in description box. If you want, you can check them out. Writing offline test series at your home will be much beneficial than attempting an online one because the actual exam is an offline exam. Now comes the last and the most important thing, revision. Since there are 12 subjects in ESC technical paper, it would be really hard to revise the entire class notes before the exam. This is where short notes would definitely help us. I don't even remember the count how many times I have revised my short notes. I have already uploaded some snaps of my short notes in my previous videos. If you are curious, you can go and check them out. If you are still confused how to revise even with short notes, let's do one thing. We will allot one to two hours every day during which we will revise the old subjects which we have already finished. For example, let's assume that I have already finished network theory and control systems. Now I am studying analog circuits for which I need 6 days to finish this subject. So during these 6 days, I will study analog circuits in the daytime. After dinner, for the first 3 days, I will revise network theory short notes. For the next 3 days, I will revise control system short notes. Like this, I am studying new subjects in the daytime and during night time, I am revising the old subjects which I have already finished. For example, if I am studying digital circuits next week, during the daytime, I will study digital circuits. After dinner, I'll revise network theory, control systems and analog circuits also, which I have finished this week. If you do like this, there are very less chances that you forget the subject. So revision plays a very crucial role in any competitive exam. Keep this thing in mind throughout this preparation phase. With this, I'm ending this video. Don't forget to join our telegram channel where I'll post all the exam related updates and I'll sometime post my short notes also. If you found this content helpful, please give it a like share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel. Even if you don't do any of these, I thank you for watching this video till now. Take care and I'll see you all in the next video.